as you know, we've been on the forefront of ministering to those who have evil spirits, seeing many, many thousands being set free in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. We are also seeing many, many being liberated from soul invaders, those foreign soul parts that have been invaded individuals as a result of illegal spiritual soul ties and unhealthy, unholy soul bonds. Many are being set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're also in the forefront of something very unusual, extraordinary, and that is, and we're seeing this everywhere we travel throughout the world, we are seeing individuals entering into the third heaven in the glorious heavenly home of the Godhead, of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, just in recent weeks, and we're seeing this throughout the world and on every continent that we travel travel to, we're seeing individuals being supernaturally being caught up into the third heaven. And I'm not speaking about having a heavenly vision or a, a heavenly experience that occurs here on earth. I'm speaking of what Paul, the Apostle Paul, encountered in 2 Corinthians 12 where he was caught up to the third heaven. And we're seeing individuals come in face to face with the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This has been a spectacular, thrilling aspect of our ministry. And for the next few videos that we'll be releasing, I'm going to be doing a series of teachings on this subject of third heaven realities. Uh, I made a list of some of the things some of the incredible supernatural miracles people are experiencing as they're encountering the, F the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not only are people being caught up to the third heaven, but they're also entering into the highest of heavens, which is the very throne room of God. But they're experiencing much more than that. And I made a list here. Some are encountering holy angels, eating and tasting of the most wondrous heavenly treats and drinks, encountering the unique powers of the heavenly realms that stun, experiencing sounds and smells and sights and sensations that mystify and cause wonderment, riding heavenly rides and heavenly creatures, being introduced to animated trees, leaves, waters, fruits, flowers, atmospheres that touch one's core in the deepest of ways, encountering loved ones, friends, and others who have passed on, who are now in these heavenly realms, receiving heavenly directives, instructions, information that empower, encourage, and bring joy, receiving heavenly gifts, obtaining new powers, new capabilities that will empower one's service to God here on earth, encountering biblical saints, and first and foremost, above all else, as individuals are being caught up to the third heaven, they're encountering the deepest of loves one can experience. So it begs the question, what am I referring to? What are this, what's this supernatural wonder that I'm speaking of? I'm speaking of the third heaven realities that we're seeing in every, nearly every single seminar, meeting, mission that we're conducting throughout the world. Uh, for example, uh, in 2019, this past year, we have seen more people being caught up to the third heaven than in the previous 30 plus years of ministry, gospel ministry. And I'm believing many more in 2020 will experience the third heaven, encountering the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which I believe is the preeminent of all miracles. Can it get any better than enjoying intimacy with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As some of you know, I've raised the dead. I've performed incredible miracles of healing by the hand of God, casting out of evil spirits by the power of Jesus Christ, other extraordinary miracles, but nothing compares to guiding, gently guiding souls into the third heaven where they get to meet the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in many cases, individuals are actually entering into the very throne room of God. Can it get any better than that? 
I don't think so. And this is an aspect of ministry that we've been on the forefront of, and it's 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 capturing the minds and hearts of individuals throughout the world. People are finding out about our mission and what has taken place in many of our seminars and meetings and missions. And I'd like to share a lot more about this third heaven. I will tell you this. It is found in Scripture, meaning that even the Apostle Paul, a disciple of Jesus Christ, had such experience. You could read about it in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, where he speaks of being caught up. That's a key word, key words, caught up into, and he actually uses the word third heaven. It implies there's a first heaven and a second heaven, which I'll talk about in, in our series of teachings on these third heaven realities. So the scripture is very clear. There is a third heaven and disciples have the poss- have the opportunity, I should say, can, can actually have the opportunity to enter into this realm and meet God. You know, the scripture tells us in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 5, we are to taste of the word and of the powers of the age to come. And it's our hope and it's our prayer at J. Bartlett Missions to be in the forefront of not only preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but guiding also, guiding individuals into the third heaven. 